Imported products are dangerous in households with children and pets. The Window Covering Safety Council urges you to make the right choice when choosing your drapery hardware and select a cordless option to make your home safe for kids. In this video, we'll show you how to mount pinch pleat draperies with a decorative traverse rod, step by step. First, take a look at the installation guide that was included with your drapery hardware. Make sure you have all of the parts and all of the tools you'll need. And if you're installing into anything other than wood, get the appropriate screws and anchors. Lay your drapery on a flat surface. Remove the tissue and top paper bands only, leaving the bottom of the draperies banded. This will make the hanging of the draperies easier. Once you have confirmed the width, draw, and any stack back needed for your drapery, measure out from each edge of the window accordingly and place a mark. Based on the desired length of the drapery, determine where the top of the rod will be and make a mark. Do this on both sides of the window, making sure that the width and length marks intersect. Now, place the center of the bracket on the width mark and the top of the bracket just below the length mark and mark the holes of the bracket. Next, drill the holes for the screws with a 1 inch drill bit and screw the bracket securely into place. Next, mount the decorative rod holders onto the brackets. You will need to count the number of pleats on your drapery to determine if you have the correct number of glides or rings on your rod. If you need to add or remove glides or rings, follow the printed instructions that came with your hardware. Now, screw the finials into each end of the decorative traverse rod. If your decorative traverse rod came with support brackets, insert them into the rod. Now place the decorative traverse rod onto the holders, making sure it's centered and that the supports are flush to the wall. Assure the rod is level at each support bracket and screw the support securely into place. The final step in the hardware installation is making sure the cords are taut and attaching the tension pulley and hold down device to the wall. This will create a safer environment for kids and pets if used correctly and consistently. Prior to hanging your draperies, it is important that you properly crease the space between the pleats to assure the drapery will open and close smoothly on the rod. This is referred to as breaking the buckram. For a decorative traverse rod, take the first two pleats of the drapery and match them up. Now, fold the fabric towards the back of the drapery and put a hard crease into the header of the drapery. The creases will point towards the window and fall below the rod when the drapery is hung. Then to mount the drapery, put it over your shoulder, keeping the top above the rod so the pins won't pop out as you hang it. Insert the first drapery pin into the first hole of the master carrier, followed by the second pin into the second hole, and so on. Insert the last pleat into the last ring or glide on the rod. The last pin will insert into a hole on the back of the bracket, or you can create a return by placing an eye screw into your wall level with the top of the last hook. After you remove the banding at the bottom of the drapery, slowly open the drapery, making sure that the folds between the pleats are pointed toward the window. At the hem of the drapery, gently separate the lining from the drapery and allow the natural hang of both the drapery and lining to align to one another. Next, gently dress the fullness of the drapery at each pleat, starting at the top and ending at the bottom of the drapery. That's it, you're done. Don't be disappointed if your draperies don't look perfect as soon as they're hung. It'll take at least a week or two for them to hang out and fall naturally into graceful folds. If you had any trouble following these steps or need to know how to care for and clean your new draperies, check your installation guide or visit our website. The Window Covering Safety Council recommends cordless window coverings that are certified best for kids.